Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. And today I wanted to share with you some of the activities I have um, for this week for my five-year-old. So my five-year-old is doing um, activities that would be for kindergarten or first grade. He's kind of in the middle of both grades, so he does both. Some things he excels at, and so he does first grade work, and some things he's um, still doing some kindergarten This working. activity is a build a shape. I'm gonna start with the math activities that I have for him this week. I'm gonna show you math and literacy activities. So uh, we do a lot of phonics, so I'm gonna show you that. So this first activity is from my early learners math curriculum. I will leave a link below if you're interested. But this is from the shapes unit, and this is called build a shape activity center. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna take a card, and then he's going to build the shape. So he will take the pieces, and he will take some Play-Doh here. I have just a tiny little whoop, thing of Play-Doh right here and he has to take out a little piece and he's going to make it into a circle and then he's going to just connect them and he's going to go ahead and use these pieces to build himself the shape. So here I am starting to build a square as you can see that. So he would have to put the pieces in and build the square. And then after he's built the square, he'll just flip the card and he'll try to build a rhombus. Can you see that? And then he'll try to build a pentagon and so on. So he will just, uh, we'll just do some of them. We're probably not gonna have you know time to do all This next of them. math activity is also from my early learners math curriculum. This one um, is from my measurement unit. So we're gonna be doing shapes and we're going to do, be doing measurements this week. And so um, what he's going to be doing is he's going to be using a ruler to measure clothing and then he's going to sort them by size. I did a separate video uh, of all of these activity centers that are in this unit and I'll leave a link below to that so you can see this one uh, firsthand. But I'm not going to take the time in this video to show you that. Okay, then uh, I also have a spin and match shapes activity center. This one is also from my shapes unit and so um, it has the mat. And I did a video on these as well, so I'll leave that link below so you can see all the different activities in the shapes unit if you're interested. But um, he just has to spin the spinner, and then he's gonna use actual shape pieces. We have the, um, the pieces, and he's gonna match them up. So I'll leave a link to the video where I show you this in detail. Since we are doing uh, shapes and measurement, I also have this uh, winter activity center. This is from my... Um, my seasonal activity centers and this one is the snow globe shape sorting and so what it is basically I showed this in another video too I'll leave a link below but you get these different snow globes and then they have to sort the pieces there's these little um polar bears and the polar bears have different pieces and they sort them like this is a triangle and it has three sides so he would have to put it on the snow globe that says three sides and then this is a donut it has no sides so it, he would have to to find the snow globe that has no sides and put it on there and so on. And you just go through the different pieces, sorting these out uh, onto the proper snow globes for winter time. So we are going to be doing that one. That'll be good to, uh, I'm trying to get all my winter activities finished before February comes and we can start the Valentine activities. Okay, and then the last thing for math is I did pull out my, um, what are these called? <laughs> My touch point cards. Uh, I have a link to these as well, I'll leave below. And if you haven't seen in any of my other videos, he uses these touch point cards uh, to do addition, subtraction, and all of those type of fun um, operation type uh, math activities. And then it really helps him later as he moves on to doing them on worksheets and things because he can visualize the touch points. I have another video that I did on how we use these, so I'll leave a link below to that video as well. We are moving on to our literacy activities that I have for him this week. And the first thing I pulled out are my wipe, wipe and write, wipe and write phonics activity, or write and wipe. <laughs> what am I saying? Anyways, they're phonics cards, and I just pulled out the set that has, um, CK because we're working on the CK sound and so you can see all of these words. Oop, this one's already done here. Some of them already have some writing that didn't get, as you can see, didn't get erased when we've used these before. But, uh, so I, there are a couple different sets. I have like, um, let's see, I have our controlled vowel words and I think I have like some long vowels. Oh, I think it's, uh, 
words with, oh, why is a vowel, I think I have. So anyways, but this week I just pulled out the CK cards and what he has to do is he takes a card and in fact, I'm going to find the card that I had on top first. Okay, I had the card quick. So he's gonna take the card and then he's going to trace the word with a dry erase marker. So here I'm gonna go ahead and quickly trace that for you. Quickly, I'm gonna quickly trace quick. Okay, so I trace the quick, then he has to write it in the boxes. These formation boxes are great because they get children used to longer letters, taller letters, medium letters. So we're gonna write the word quick in there. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I pair um, up these cards with either magnetic letters or some kind of alphabet letters. So he has to build the word. And this week I'm going to use these. So we've been using um, our magnetic letters a lot. So I decided to change it up and I decided that we would go ahead and use these this week. Uh, these are just Legos that I turned into letters so that he could use them to make words. If you missed the video I did on this, I will leave a link below to the video I did on how you can make these with Legos. But basically all he's gonna do is he's gonna take the pieces and he's going to put them together here. I already pulled out the pieces for the word quick and he's going to make them. And the reason I wanted to use these and pair them up with this activity is because they show um, him the different formation of the letters, how Q goes below the line and K goes above the line, just like these different cards do as well. So uh, I wanted to pair that kind of up with it and so he could make his words with these. But obviously you could pair it up with magnetic letters or whatever you had uh, as the child is working. So, okay, I pulled those out. Okay guys, this next activity I'm going to use on this little um, whiteboard that I have. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I want a dry erase surface for this activity. And I'm going to be having him do the phon my phonics digraphs activity set. I'll leave a link below where you can get this. But here's what he's going to do. So if he takes a card, so I'll just put one of the cards on, the, on here. And then there are, um, little popsicle sticks that I have attached the pieces to. So we're working with these digraphs, S H W H T H and C H. And so he's going to look at the card and this card is a picture of a shoe. And so he has to put the proper digraph on there and the pop proper one would be the S H. And then the last thing I'm going to have him do is I have some little tiles from a um, learning resources tiles um, set. And so I'm going to then have him take the correct tile, put it down and write the rest of the word. Like so, if he doesn't know how to spell it, I will spell the rest of it for him and he has to write it. If you don't have these tiles, then obviously you could just have them write the word on their, um, on their dry erase board. Like so, I'm going to go ahead and reset and show you one more of how I would have him do it. So for example, this is a picture of a treasure chest, a chest. And so he would put the CH stick on that one. And then he's going to find his CH and write the rest of the word. Or if he, if he didn't have those, then he could just write it the entire thing. All right, this last activity that I have for him is one of the winter activity centers from my seasonal centers. It's called Polar Bear Blends, and I think I mentioned that I did a separate video on these, so if you wanna see them all, I'll leave a link below to that video. So what he has to do is he takes um, a blend stick. Here I have the CR blend, so cur as in crab. And then what he would have to do as he would take Play-Doh, um, white Play-Doh, preferably, and he's gonna make a mountain right here of white Play-Doh. And then he would stick the card, let me see that, you would stick the card in the Play-Doh. But for our purposes in this video, you understand that the card would be sticking up like this. And then what he has to do is, and I show this in detail in the other video, but I didn't pull out my Play-Doh right now. So, um, but then he would look through these cards and he would find the ones that started with CR. So I wouldn't give him all of these, but I would give him a few. So here I have crown and he would find crown and then he would put crown on his mat. And of course this would be 
sit, you know, sticking up right here as he would be doing it um, in the Play-Doh. And so he had fun making, you know, he'll have fun making the Play-Doh mountain and sticking his card in there and then finding the pieces that match. So there are three or four, I can't remember, um, pieces for each one. So here's Crab would match with that one as well and Cliff would match with this one. So he would put it on the mat to match up. Once he's found all of the matching pieces, then he would go ahead and pull out another stick and try another one. So I have S blend, um, yeah, S blends and blends with R and blends with L. And do I have any, oh, and I think that's, oh, and blends, yeah, blends with R, L, and S. So anyways, they're called uh, consonant blends because they're two consonants that blend the sounds together. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video from Fun Hands On Learning. Uh, I have changed my name. I used to be Faithfully Homemade and now I'm Fun Hands On Learning. So if you were confused on the name change, I did a separate video on why I changed the name. And um, so you can watch that. I will leave that link below as well. I will try to remember to leave all these links below, you guys. Um, by the way, I just, I love using little manipulatives with the kids. And these are just little um, snowflakes that I found. They're little snowflake charms. So you can really honestly use any kind of manipulative you have laying around the house, even just little toys um, for marking answers and just for all sorts of things as you're doing learning. So don't, uh, you know, so get creative with it and think outside the box and think about what kind of little things can I use. Now, obviously you wouldn't want to use little charms like this with a really small child, like a two-year-old. I would not, but um, my uh, five-year-old, yeah, he's absolutely fine with these. So, okay guys, talk to you later. Bye.